Peace and blessings of Allah be upon you, our highly respected viewers. You are welcome to the Education Committee Tutorials organized by Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, Kano University of Science and Technology, Udil Branch. Okay, uh, formerly known that there are many courses under MTH 1301 titled Algebra and Trigonometry, known as the, let me let me just list the courses outlines, which are set theory, mathematical induction, mathematical induction, uh, theory of quadratic equation, sequences and series. Expansion, which comprises Pascal triangle and binomial theorem. Then uh, we have complex numbers. And the last one is uh, trigonometry. Trigono these are the courses outlined under this course, MTH 1301, and God willing, we are going to start from the beginning, which is set theory. Okay, now set theory. So theory, the definition of set. A set is just defined as is defined as the collection as the collection of well defined defined objects. And it's just the collection of well-defined objects, and normally a set is written in a curly bracket. As we know, it is represented by capital letter, while the elements of the set are represented with small letters, like this. To represent a set, I can say a set A is given as something like A, V, C, meaning that this A is what we call the set, while the A, V, C are the elements, we call them elements, Sometimes we call them members, members of the sex, that is set. And whenever collecting element of a set, the elements must be well-defined collection, because from the definition it said a collection of well-defined objects. Not only the element may be anything, just a collection of anything. It may be numbers, name of people, items, anything. For instance, I may say a set C is equal to, let me say Musa, Muhammad, whatever. You see, it's a complete set. Why? Because it's a collection of names of people. It may be name of anything, it may be numbers. That is a set. Whenever you collect items or elements, it's known as a set. Under a set, there are various types of sets, and there are also methods of writing sets. Let's, start, let's take a look at method of writing sets before the type of sets. Now, method of writing sets. There are two methods of writing sets. The first one, which is known as tabular form. Tabular form. This is the first one. Tabular form is just a method of writing set whereby all the elements of the set is listed where you can count them, you, you see them, they are listed, well listed. For instance, I may say a set is equal to 1, 3, 4, 6. If we take a look at this, it's just a collection of numbers, and the numbers are well listed. We are seeing them 1, 3, 4, and 6. That is a tabular form 
of right hand side or I may give another example which may be let's say a book pencil uh, uh, eraser and so on this is also a tabular method of right hand side because the elements are listed which is book, pencil and eraser the second method of right hand side is what we call set builder so under this set builder notation, the elements are not listed, but what? The physical properties that will characterize the element is only given. That is to say, it will not be given like this, but they will give you some physical properties that you will know that this also so are the elements of the sets. That is, uh, in this case, they will not give you the element listed, but they will give you some properties so that you can understand the elements. For instance, I may say A is equal to X such that 2 is less than X is less than 7. This is uh, an example of set builder notation. Why? Because look at it. It says the element is X. It's X. This means such that. In some instance, they will just write, you will see a slash. This slash is also such that. Whether you see dot dot or a slash is such that. So it means x here is what? Is the elements of the set. But x is unknown. So you have to find it. How? By this. This is the property that characterizes x. It means the element is from 2 to 7. The 2 exclusive while 7 exclusive. Maybe we might have a problem of this, but whenever you have uh, less than or you call to it, it's just an interval. Let's just see it here. It's an interval. If I may have one less than x, less than maybe five, this means my x is from one to five. But one and five are exclusive. Exclusive here means that one is not in. That is, we start counting from the number after one which is two and five is also out we stop at a number before five which is four so that means my x here are going to be what two three and four because of exclusiveness but when we are going to introduce inclusive inside we're going to use less than or equal to if i put less than or equal to here i means one is inside i'll start counting from one that is my element is going to be one and also, if I put less than or equal to here, that is also 5 is inclusive, I'm going to put 5. So I have 5 here. That is interval. So these are the two methods of writing set. The first one is tabula form, while the second one is set builder notation. For your information, for any set given in set builder notation, for you to solve or to make some operation on it, you have to write it in tabular form. Okay, this is a uh, tabular and set builder uh, 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 set builder notation. I might I might add some another example. I might say a set B is equal to let's say uh, X such that X is even even numbers even number. See, it's also a set builder notation because the elements are not given. Why? It's just a property. What is the property of x here? x is the element, but it has a property. The property is what? x is even number. So it's left for you to know what is even number. So you say, since x is even number, therefore, my set in tabular form is what? Even numbers. What are even numbers? Started from 2, uh, 4, 6, 8, and so on. You say, for this is what? Set builder notation and I transform it into travel up. Okay. Now, after the method of writing sets, let's take a look at uh, some types of sets, which are very, very important. Are very, very important, because without the type of set, you cannot make some operations on that set. Now, the types of sets. There are many, many types of sets. Number one, we have what we call singleton. 
single tone. Look at single tone from, from the name single, it means it's just a set that have only one element. When a set is having one element, it's called a single set. A set with one element. And we have a, one element in a set, it's called a single tone. Number two, we have what we call null. Null or empty. This null or empty is a type of set that have no element in it. It have an empty element. And it is denoted by this. Whenever you see this, it means the set is empty. Or, in some instance, you will see an empty curly bracket. When you see an empty curly bracket or this, it means it is a null set. Number three, we have what we call finite and infinite. And in Finite. Finite and infinite set. As the name implies, finite, when we take finite here, it's just a type of set that have a fixed number of elements. With a fixed number of elements, it's called a finite. Fixed number of elements. For instance, uh, an example like this, if I have a set A which is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. I can call this what? A finite set because it has a fixed number. It means we can count the number of elements in the set. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. While on the other hand, infinite set that have infinite number of, or it have infinity. The number, uh, the number of elements is infinite. It is not fixed. For instance, I may set a set B is equal to X such that X is uh, odd numbers. As usual, odd numbers. You see, what are odd numbers? Do you know the total number of odd numbers? No? That's why we call it infinite. So the next one after infinite is what we call equal sets. Equal set. Just equal. Equal. When something is equal, then it's equal. That is, if two sets have the same number of elements and the same element, then they are said to be equal. For instance, I may have two set A is equal to A, B, D. And another set B is also equal to A, B, D. Then I can conclude by saying A is equal to B because whatever element in A, is there in B. So it's called an equal set. We denote it like this. A is equal to B. That is, set A is equal to B. 